How did we get these bigger 33 inch tires to fit on our Sprinter van? Was our adaptive cruise control feature affected? Do you need to trim the fenders to make more room? In this video, we will show you the steps that we personally took to fit these tires and rims on our van. And as our disclaimer, we are just DIYers, so we are not experts, so this is just how we did it. We just installed new rims and tires on our Sprinter van. These are the Al Talon wheels made by Al Vans that are made specifically for a Sprinter van and I'll link them in the description below. And because they were made specifically for the Sprinter van, there's two features that make them unique. One is that the load capacity is much higher than that of other rims. And when a Sprinter van is completely built out, it can weigh upwards of six, eight, 10,000 pounds when it's all said and done. Each rim is actually pretty lightweight. It's 32 pounds total, and each rim's load capacity is 4,200 pounds. So in total, we're looking at 16,800 pounds. The second reason we went with these, other than we like the look and the color of them, is that the offset of the rim is specifically made for the spinner man. So you don't need a spacer. Because of the lower offset, it widens the track of the van, which lowers your center of gravity which is great when you actually want to put the four-wheel drive into use. And as far as these tires go, these are the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, which Billy did a ton of research on forums and found that these are the only tires that you can fit 285-70-17s and still be able to keep the adaptive cruise control function. We tested this out prior to making this video, and that is what we have found. Otherwise, we would have went with the Rentec Oversized Tire Module. And if we do end up needing that, we'll do an update on that as well. Lastly, what did we have to do to be able to fit these bigger tires? We do not have any type of lift installed on here yet. This is the factory suspension for the 4x4 Sprinter. You will, however, have to cut the fenders back to be able to fit any tires that are bigger than the factory tires. For the front fenders, we purchased the Mundo Mud Guards, which gave us about two extra inches of room for the wheels. And in the back, Billy ended up cutting the fenders back with a template made by Agile Offroad, which gave us about an inch and a half of extra room and he's going to show you how to do that now. So here I'm going to be using the agile off-road rear fender trim template. I'm going to remove the mud flap, put the template up on here and trace it out and cut it out to allow us to fit bigger tires on the Sprinter. I guess it's the VS30 2019 and up. You have two T25 screws here and here. And then on the back side, you have one 10 millimeter bolt right there. So now we got this taped off. We got our fender removed. Take your template, hold it up there to that body line and uh, take your Sharpie, trace it all the way down. Then take this, bend it down, following that body line, make a mark and mark the bottom as well. Now we're gonna use the grinder, cut all of this back. I made mean, X is to show the part that's getting removed. And then these two tabs here are gonna stay and they get bent back. And that's what the two holes on the mud flap get screwed to. See how much more room we now have with all this cut out and these tabs bent in. Now we're gonna take some seam sealer and we're gonna fill in all these cracks 
where the two pieces of the sheet metal meet, bond all that back up, fill that, and then we'll paint it all before we put the mud block back on. waiting for the seam sealant to dry up before I paint it. I'm gonna clean this wheel well with some acetone and then I'm gonna hit it with Raptor truck bed liner coating. It's just gonna make the inside here darker so it'll look a lot cleaner once we have our new wheels and tires on there. Now I'm gonna do a second coat with the now I'm gonna hold the mud flap in place and drill through these openings with a eighth inch robot that way we can reinsert our T25 screw. Passenger side is complete. On the driver's side, I'm going to remove the tire. It's gonna make the process a lot easier. I would have done that with this one, but my brother had borrowed my jack, so I had no way to remove it. Mm -hmm. 